and welcome to Mario Party episode 26. We today are going to the best board in the game. Let's head into the shop real quick. Can I interest you in a magma mountain? That's why I'm here, you fool. We'll scoop that up. And let's get out of here, shall we? Yes. The warp pipe. Enter. Do it! Alright, fools. It's time. I'll see you there. And hello and welcome. Uh, we were just dropped off by Bowser, who... I guess he is under the impression we're going to Magma Mountain today. So, we are going to go ahead and we're going to lead off with Mario. If anyone's going to take on Magma Mountain, defeat Bowser himself, it's Mario. Now, let's see who's coming on this adventure with us. I think we're going to take yeah! Luigi, Peach, and Yoshi. Some of the most iconic Mario characters there are, for better or worse. Now I'm looking at you, pink one. Um, we're going to set him to hard. you got to trust me on this. We're going to Magma Mountain. Don't look at that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bowser's Magma Mountain. Yes, we're here. We are here. We are on Bowser's board. Whew, man. Okay. If I was going to lose a board, it would probably be Magma Mountain. Now, that's not saying I haven't lost a board in this playthrough. I'm not going to give that away if I have or not. And if I have, which ones? But Magma Mountain's going to be tough. I've only played Magma Mountain a handful of times because I think it's a little tough. But I'm excited to be playing it again because this has to be probably the board I have second least amount of experience with in Mario Party. The first one. Um, now comes the battle with Bowser. Bowser has failed to bring your adventures to an end. He is entrenched in his volcano and is forcing you to fight. Bowser awaits you at the volcano's summit. Whoever can defeat that Bowser is a true superstar. I have one piece of advice. Even now, the volcano looks as if it may erupt. Don't excite it. Don't step on the spaces. Now then, let's decide turn order. Now, just to make sure this actually worked, I did like a test game, and wow, I hit an 8 and got 2nd. So it's really cool that I got a 9 and got 2nd again. That feels good. The order has been decided. First is Peach. Second is Mario. Third is Yogurt. And fourth is Legatron 5000, who is coming off of his board playthrough of Luigi's Engine Room. I will say that I'm a massive fan of that board. If you just, if you're tuning in on this board and maybe you miss Luigi's Engine Room, please feel free to go check that one out. I would say Luigi's Engine Room, Wario's Battle Canyon, and Yoshi's Tropical Island were three fantastic boards if you haven't seen them yet. Uh, Mario's Mario's Rainbow Castle was phenomenal as well. It went great. Um, not saying I won. I just it was a really good playthrough. Um, DK's Jungle Adventure would be the only one I'd say if you miss. You know, hey, that's okay. But I would highly recommend checking out Luigi's End Room. It was a good one. Last a present for me. Ten coins for each of you. I hope they'll be of some use. Now let's start, everyone. Shoot for the stars and good luck. Magma Mountain. Okay, so we got Toad. Let me show you where the first star is. Bam! Right there. Seems crazy, huh? Yeah, well, it's gonna be tough to get to. Don't think that this board's a joke. I'll give you the map and the overlay after Peach gets done rolling a measly four. Okay, so... <clears throat> let's start off here. So we're gonna go this way. And we come to these crossroads. If you wanna go this way, you have to do something. You'll see when you get there. But you can just not, and you can keep going. So you can take shortcuts or you can go the long way. You can even shortcut back up here to cut to the end of the board. Wow, pretty good. Um, that way you don't have to uh, potentially face Bowser. There's also Boo. Um, and you come up here and yeah. Uh, but you can keep on going across and you can go up. So basically you're just climbing, you're climbing a volcano. And then you get up here and you uh, activate this guy. And you either get to go to Busev, or you get to go to Bowser. These happening spaces, they were talking about how the volcano is looking a bit testy, this volcano here. Um, you can see all this lava inside. This uh, this volcano could go off at any minute. Look how big this is. This thing is massive. Huge volcano. 
So, yeah, and then when you get past that, regardless of which way you take, you will come back down this way here, and you'll meet Koopa. So, that's pretty awesome. Let me give you an overview real quick, just so you can see what I was talking about. You see the shortcuts, shortcut, shortcut. You got three shortcuts, one Bowser or Boo. Let's get to it. Give me a four. Nice. Holy cow. I was playing a, I was playing a round of... Um, what did I skip over go ahead if I did that? No, okay. Um, let me see. Five, one, five. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I'll try it. Um, I was playing a round of uh, Mario's Rainbow Castle yesterday. If you want to take the shortcut, try roulette. Ten coins? Hmm. Let me take a look. Five, four, seven. Seven's not enough for me to potentially save up for a star. I thought it was five. Cowards can get lost. <laughs> Pretty funny. I was gonna do the uh, the uh, Super Mario 64 Bowser laugh, but I just I don't know if I could do it. Uh, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed that little Bowser intro. I can't believe he took over my recording setup. He said, "I'll do the intro," and I'm like, "Okay, okay, okay." See, I don't have a very good Bowser impression there, um, but Bowser, man, he was on he was on fire. Let's see it. Okay, so you hit a... <clears throat> you won. Well, go ahead. Um, so you can either get a star or get the Bowser. And if you get the Bowser, you wasted your ten coins. You have to keep on going. Uh, but if you get the star, you can take the shortcut. And it's a little risky, uh, but I think it's uh, worth your time. Now, if I wouldn't have landed on a happening space when I got up there, I might have taken it because I'm confident I can win these minigames. But who's to say? Also, look at Yoshi down there. This is an omen. I wasn't I wasn't talking about left Yoshi, I was talking about on the bottom right there. Let's do this. I've been getting better at Crazy Cutters, as you guys have seen throughout, throughout this playthrough. Um, it is, once again, becoming one of my favorite minigames, just because I really like it. I've always really enjoyed it. But then I just started being really bad at it for some reason. And I was like, okay, so I guess I hit Crazy Cutters now. Dude, if I was going to get a 100... It would probably be this. 93, okay, wow. Tooting my own horn for no reason at all. I know the bottom left area right under his left eye was a little bad and, uh, to, the, to the direct. If you went horizontal through the middle of his eye and looked at the right side, right underneath Mario to the right a little, that was a little scuffed, but I really did think that was a good one. Um, it's a shame that everyone has all these coins, but the roulette is not guaranteed, and nobody's taking it but Luigi. The roulette's not guaranteed, and it also chops. Uh, you're only, like, a couple spaces from Toad at that point, so... Ooh! Oh, too bad, you lost. Go back on that road you came from. Ha, ha, ha. Woo! Too close. Um, I'm excited to see what the happening spaces do, but... No, there's no but. I, I just am. You know, I don't, I don't want to... I don't want to potentially be like, oh, you know, it could be, blah, blah, you know, I don't want to, I just don't want it to be given away. Oh, here we go. Here we go. The volcano erupts. Oh, my God. What happened? Bowser's attack changed all the blue spaces to red. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, I don't remember how long this lasts, but I know it's at least this turn. <laughs> I hope it lasts a few turns, because um, I, I really like that. Um, I, the one person I didn't want to... Ooh, Bomb Skip Ball. I actually got in a pretty good game of Bomb Skip Ball yesterday. <laughs> Admittedly, I, it was because I um, attacked... I think it was Luigi. Yeah, because Luigi beat me by like five coins. And this was one of the final mini games we played, and I was like, if it was anyone but Luigi, I would win this game right now. But I went up, and I basically just... Basically just, oh. And that's why bomb skip ball can be fun. They were playing a little defense, and I admittedly tried to sabotage us, but still, Peach Mario wins. That's one of my favorites. I love when you get, uh, like, rare text prompts after mini games. Also, Schwam destroyed Yoshi there. Uh, Peach is getting a little up there in coins, but, I mean, she's, you know, we're, 
we're like neck and neck right now. And I'm hoping she, for some reason, no, I was gonna say, I hope she goes for that one. Also, as you can see, the magma mountain has, its eruption has continued to ever last. Um, I'm not doing very good on my rolls, but it's okay. Peach isn't doing outstanding or anything. But this is a good opportunity to uh, to see a all red four player mini game. It's actually a really cool occurrence, in my opinion. Zero coins, Luigi, you suck. What are you gonna get? I think he lands on a red space. Oh, that's too bad. You don't have what it takes for a star. Bring back 20 coins, and uh, if you don't get lost, um, I don't know what happens. Luigi's about to see what happens if you go to that thing with zero coins. Will it still let you, or will it just say, Go to Bowser! <laughs> Got him! Because he's not going to win this game. I I like to think I get... Oh, this is buried treasure. For some reason I thought we were playing Tipsy Tourney. He's not going to win this game, though, for realsies. I'm going to go ahead and just tear it up. I'm going to go, like, right at Luigi, um, in that direction. This is like Eats a Pizza. One of the best Mario Party 3 minigames, if not the best. See, we just go straight at Luigi, because if he would have kept going forward, he would have got it. But I just, I don't know, I went after the person I didn't want to win just in case. I really, I really did just, uh, you know, sort of gamble it all right there, but see if I care, because I promise I don't. Um, okay, I, I won't go over nine turns. No, 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 we're going to do, yeah, we're going to do nine turns, because four parts is better than uh, three, or better than five. I've come to the conclusion of. You guys know that. Okay, things are getting really, really close. It's two rounds, so the eruption has returned to normal. That's a shame. I wanted Peach to get one more red space. He could have landed on Bowser. That would have helped me. Um, but Peach goes first next time, and it really just comes down to a roll. All right, Luigi, show us what you got. Which of the roads will you take? Let us decide. Okay, so it just says, you know, go right ahead. Okay, so he got that one. Hmm, you got lucky. The next time you won't! Um, we'll see if that threat is just a threat, or if Luigi's, like, definitely gonna get Bowser next time. I don't think it's, like, hard-coded to give him Bowser, but, you know, just what goes along with the text, you know. Okay, four coins. I'll, I'll lose four coins. Mario Party 1 boot can be a little crazy. Not as cra- Oh, no! Man, Whack-a-Plant? Yeah, we only have this board playthrough and one more, and then we're moving on to the minigame content, and Mario Party 1 is over. Um, Mario Party 1 has been going exceptionally well. I have been really enjoying it. Um, I've been having a great time with it. Um, I am sad it's going to be over, um, but that will let us look forward to uh, Mario Party 2 coming in, like, September or October. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, like I said, I don't want to, I only want to do them once every six months or so, uh, but we will get through them all eventually. Um, and like I said, I do have Mario Party E sitting over there. We'll probably get to that one eventually too. Um, maybe after Mario Party Advance, because uh, people seem to just hate on that one for fun. Um, I watched a playthrough of it and I do own it. Um, it's, it's pretty good. I enjoy it. It's interesting. It's weird, but you know, hey. I don't care. Doesn't bother me. I'm a solo Mario Party player, so I don't have to really be affected too much by it being a more of a solo Mario Party experience. Mm, I would love to win this and make uh, Legatron 5000 lose coins, but we get to play probably the worst 2v2 minigame, Deep Sea Divers. There's nothing terribly wrong with it other than the fact that, well, frankly, I don't want to play it. <laughs> I uh, uh, just... It might be the second worst stick spinning game, just because, like, it's not intrusive or anything. It's just like, why do I gotta spin the stick for this one? If you're not spinning the stick, you gotta tap the crap out of A. Tapping for my life right now. This treasure chest is just so heavy. Okay. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it. Okay. Which one's Luigi going for? I'll take it. Okay. Come on, Peach. Come on. I like to try to jack their coins, uh, mainly because they got Poo Brain, and they'll be like, oh, shoot. Come on, 
Peach. Come on, I think we can, I really do think we can steal a lot of those coins from over there. If you just get going left. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Peach, go! Oh, that was me. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There it is. No, I thought I had that. Anyways. Yeah, you can't, oh, you can't tap, you can't tap away from your line. So if your line is like, got slack like Luigi's does right there. You can't just swim up the slack. You just gotta deal with it. 51, pretty good. Um, we all have way too many coins right now. Uh, I like, I like when uh, the CP, oh no! By one? Come on, now we have to watch her, uh, we have to watch her play a freaking 1v, oh, a one player mini game. I don't want to watch her play a one, one player mini game. After I just got robbed. She needed an eight. <laughs> an eight. To, to not get it. Okay, fine. I am literally one space behind the, the complete board cut. If you get slot machine, I'll be happy. Of course. Pedal power. She's not going to lose that. Are you kidding me? Easy CPUs will lose that every now and again, but... I mean, I saw a hard CPU lose memory match one time. You you guys were there, so, I mean, it's possible. It's pedal power, though. It's not... Yeah, look how fast she's going. It's not it's not an incredibly difficult game by any stretch of the word. And I really do think this is one you could probably get just by spinning, spinning with your thumb. <laughs> no, I didn't even think about Yoshi. Sorry, I was just peeping something. Yeah, it's a shame, uh, Peach getting coins, but, I mean, hey, I've got Coinstar, I've got Minigame Star. Luigi's coming a little bit close to Minigame Star after that freaking Whack-A-Plant incident. Um, maybe I'll get Whack-A-Plant? Come on, come on, we haven't, well, Yoshi lost his. If you want to take the shortcut, try roulette. Try it. Ten coins. Come on, yes! Oh, you stupid! Luigi's gonna get the next star, and I'm gonna be just sitting here walking for fun. Yeah, Magma Mountain. Um, some people say it absolutely blows because of stuff like that, and you're like, what is this crap? Um, and I am of the opinion that... Uh, ten coins? I might just throw this because I don't want to spin the stick. That's what I did... Man, I got Bowser Tug of War, and I just threw it. It was 30 coins yesterday, and then I got Tug of War right after, and I threw that too. I'm like, screw it, man. I don't care if I'm losing these coins. Turns out I lost the game because I threw those coins. It's just so hard to beat the guy in the Bowser suit. Oh my god, usually I can get that in 9 seconds. That took 11. Finish. Yeah, I think I think the only stick spinning game that sucks in this game is Tug of War. Um, and I hate Tug of War. If people want to say Mario Party 1 sucks because of the stick mini games, uh, I won't accept. But if they say Mario Party 1 sucks because of Tug of War, I understand. I do. I hate Tug of War, man. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I used to really like it as a kid. Just because I, you know, I didn't have just a complete massive echo chamber of people saying, Control Stick Spinning SUCKS! Because now I'm, you know, I'm like, you know what? Maybe Tug of War does blow. It's just nice to get other people's opinions on things, even when they're just vitriolic and stupid. Usually unfounded. A little uneducated. Nobody gets away from me and Crane Game. Nobody. Finish. Screw King Crane Game in Mario Party 2. Um, I can outlast it, but it's still a little, little wonk at times. A wonk -ola. Yeah, Peach deserved that. What, what turn is it? Six? Cool. This game is not going by as quick. Give me a three! You suck! Literally a two or a three would have been fun. Yeah, Mario Party. The first Mario Party game, it's 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 board playthroughs go by pretty quick. Um, like if you're just sitting here playing against like the AI and whatever. Yeah, you're 
You are... You're gonna get through them pretty quick. I mean, they're not terribly long. I know some of the GameCube games can get pretty darn long. Um, I have... I only own five. Um, but... I've heard a lot about six. And I've heard a lot about four. I heard seven is some of the longest Mario Party games you'll ever play. And I'm like, oh, great. Also, ah, uh, great. Luigi's probably going to get a red from his happening space, and we're going to have to play a freaking 1v3 minigame that I don't want to play. Surprise, surprise. Oh, surprise, surprise. Yep, here we are, just playing the 1v3 minigames. 1v3 minigames are the weakest of Mario Party 1. Um... They're just not enough of them. So I'm over here like, I don't want to play your crap. I don't want to play Bowl Over. I don't want to play Tug of War. I don't want to play, seriously, Yoshi? Seriously? Yeah, that's what I thought. I meant to say League of Tron 5000. That was about to be a little frustrating. Him having a, what, 12 coin attunity? And he hits me solely? Goes for the 6 coin attunity? Yeah, let me talk about, uh... The fact that I already have the next two playthroughs, uh, uh, I, well, I know what they're gonna be. Come on, Peach, get Bowser, come on, come on! Dang it! Yeah. Ugh. This is, ugh. this is why I don't like Magma Mountain, because when I get up there, I'm gonna land Bowser, and he's gonna steal all my coins, and he might even steal a star, I can't remember. Brown pound, great. So I'm not even gonna get my full amount of. Oh yeah, I will. I was thinking memory match. Memory match, you only get eight points. I'm like, great. So I gotta play this stupid one v a uh, one player mini game. I always say one v, as if I'm gonna say something. Yeah, and ground pound is fine. I I used to really enjoy it, but then I stopped being a dumb five year old, and I was like, dude, this game blows. I mean, it's a great one player mini game. But come on. Watching the AI play it is awful. Yeah. Oh. I got green tea here. Need to be sipping. I've been drinking a gallon a day. Get my metabolism up. Liquid going through your body all the time is a great way to get your metabolism up. And green tea is extremely good for metabolism. So, here I am. I've done it before. It's not like I'm some quack. It's crazy, getting a 2v2 while the eruption's activated. Also, there's Luigi. Could've been me. Desert Dash, please! Oh my god! Just let me be happy! Anchor Havoc's pretty good, but... Oh my god, man, do I really want to sit here and just tap A like it's my job? Ready? Go. Me. Yeah, I'm using my thumb. It's just with the AI, you cannot mess up, because they are perfect at hand car havoc. And that leads me to falling off. I fall off a lot in Mario Party 1. Mario Party 2, rarely. It's less, it's less focused on falling off, which is awesome. I think hand car habit's really good. I've always been a big fan and a big advocate for it. Wow, that was a new high score! New record! New record! Yeah, I got... Oh! I got sub one minute in Bob Sled Run yesterday. I got 50... Like, 58.75. It was my best Bob Sled Run run ever. Ever. It was amazing. I did such a good job out there. So you know how when I'm coming down, you you fall off that second, boom, boom, where you like drop and you gotta keep going again, and you take a left and you start to hit your hit the right, and there's that boost pattern. I'm always like, you just hit the wow, she stole three coins, she stole lose three coins. That's what I was hoping would happen. Um, we got two more turns left. Oh my god, nothing happened. Huh. I figured it would erupt again. Um, but yeah, I I did it without hitting the walls. I didn't hit the wall with that with that uh, 
with the uh, last boost pad. I don't know what I did, but I rode that wall perfect. Perfect. And, uh, yep, went ahead and uh, sniped that sub minute. It was awesome. It was one of the coolest things. And that's... Th ooh, three away. Nice. And that's all me. I don't think anyone's even behind me. Yoshi's on his way. Peach is heading out. Yep. What is with the 2v2 minigames with Peach? Deep Sea Divers again? Ugh, oh, acting like I'm upset about it even though I'm about to get 15 coins. Thank God I'm the swimmer. I mean, you gotta be tapping immediately. Immediately. If you want the big chest. Catch it at an angle? Yeah, it's so difficult to get to the big chest against probably real people as well. But it's no joke against uh, AI. They, they know it. And I know it as well, but they know it. Look at Luigi, sucking. We got up at the same time. So watch this. This is called domination. So you come over here, you snag that up. Oops, sorry. And he's gonna wanna go for this one? Dang, come on. Oh my god, man, sorry. And that is how you do deep sea divers against the computer players. What, he got two coins, two chests, three coins? <laughs> nine, okay, wow, I wasn't expecting nine. Anyways, I got 18 coins. Uh, my tricep got a little tired because, you know, I'm working out. And uh, tapping A like that's nuts. Wow, I'm really happy that everyone on the board has hit an eruption. Um, that really, well, it didn't erupt for me, but I hit it. A happening space, I suppose. Um, but, yeah. It's really cool. So the happening star is not, it's not completely one-sided at the moment. Okay, watch. I'm going to go to Bowser, and I'm going to lose this star. This is the last turn, by the way. <clears throat> Wow, okay, so that's free. That is free, probably for Luigi. And off to Bowser I go. Huh, I wonder if everyone gets one. That way you don't get completely discouraged? Heck, I don't know, that was crazy. Um, yeah, Luigi's probably, ooh, Yoshi with the Niner. Luigi still got a nice, nice lead on Yoshi, though. Yes, I know he's only two away, but he saw him. He needs to go. All right, this could be a star for League. What? He wouldn't have been able to buy it. Ha! Huh! Sucks to suck. And we get a freaking 1v3, even though there's an eruption active. Of course. I would love to beat the crap out of Peach, but instead I'm just going to... I'm going to scum a little bit and just hold off and pick up the coins from her. Screw Peach. <clears throat> Daisy's so much better. It's, it's not like I don't like her because she's like a girl or whatever. She's a, you know, it'd be a shame to dislike the one girl you can play as, but I'm like, you know, um, come on. Um, it's just that, it's just that Daisy exists, making Peach so much worse. You guys want to see a Bash and Cash game end early? It's pretty funny, actually. This happened yesterday against Wario. We beat the crap out of him. And there it goes. Finish! Finish. <laughs> oh, yeah. Finish! We took all of our coins! Oh, man. 10, 3, 5, minus 18 for her. Nice coins. Uh, okay, so, thank you all for coming out. This has been Bowser's Magma Mountain. I will catch you in the part 2 uh, we all have a star except for Yoshi, uh, who's about to strike on that star right there, and then we'll see what happens next. I'm on my way to Boo. I'll probably steal coins from Yoshi as well. Uh, maybe Luigi, just to kneecap him a little bit, but either way, 
Uh, thank you all for coming out. I hope you are looking forward to the rest of Magma Mountain. And it really is an interesting board. And this, it could go any way. It could go any way, whatever. It, this could be nuts. So, I'll catch you next time.